Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. So in my last Nexus 5 video, I have reviewed a ROM based on Android 8.1. But today we have a ROM based on Android 10. And today we're going to find out how this ROM is performing. So let's find out. So the ROM is booted up. And this is the same ROM which I have reviewed last time. Resurrection Remix based on Android 8.1. But that was an official version of it. But today we have the ROM which is unofficial. Because of that actually it got few bugs which are major bugs. And it will ruin the whole experience actually. But anyway, let's see what's going on. So first of all, as you can see, it's based on Android 10. And if I press here, Android 10, tap here. Yeah, this is a proper Android 10. And build type is unofficial. As I said, it is an unofficial build. And the security patch level is 5th of September. 2020 so security patch level doesn't matter in this kind of old phone it is amazing that this device can run android 10 actually and it's running pretty well although it got few bugs i will talk about them later on so first of all as you can see here the wi-fi bluetooth and mobile data working perfectly fine i haven't found any kind of issue i have been using this for a week now there was no issue like that even nfc also working perfectly fine and if you go to battery backup, battery backup is doing pretty well. It is kind of pretty similar to even better than stock ROM, I would say. And it's working perfectly fine. If you go to display section, there are a few things like theming and other things. And you can enable complete dark mode here. And storage section, as you can see, almost 12 GB available. Rather than that, we have screen lock. So you have here face unlock, but face unlock doesn't work for some reason. You cannot enroll the face unlock here it doesn't work but the main issue is that sometime if you like put your pattern lock or pin lock if you reboot your device if you put the correct pin code it will not unlock the device it will stuck there it happened many times with me and it does work after some time but that is one of the biggest issue with this rom actually rather than that i haven't found any kind of major issue with this rom as a custom rom you might find some bugs here and there like minor one but as for major bugs that's the only bugs i have found so if you are thinking about customization of this rom so we have resurrections tool and all the customization are here one thing which is missing actually is that double tap to work is not here but we do have full skin gesture support as you can see here full skin gesture working perfectly fine and as this device got a very small display, I think full screen gesture is better than the on screen one. So full screen gesture is working perfectly fine. I haven't found any kind of issue. Everything is working. So in the application part, uh, we do have few application here, but uh, this ROM did not come with GFs. You have to flush GFs separately. And I will talk about those things later on, how you can flush GFs. And this ROM did not come with Gcam actually. So it came with Snapdragon camera, which does work perfectly fine. I haven't faced any kind of issue with the camera actually and i also have installed the camera application directly from play store the gcam it is also working perfectly fine no issue with the gcam so camera performance is quite good and the rom performance is quite good here so the rom is working perfectly fine as you can see i haven't faced any kind of issue and it is running much better than 8.1 based rom as you can see here and the games also running pretty much better than the 8.1 rom although this rom is an unofficial build but the rom is working perfectly fine so there is no issue now come to the installation part so if you want to flash this rom there are a few things you have to do before installing this rom so first of all let's uh, let me show you how you can do that first of all i will boot it to the recovery mode advance recovery mode so one thing we have to do that basically this device got the system partition which is 1 gb and we are going to extend the system partition to 1.5 gb which will allows us to install like gfs and other things without any kind of issue so if you have installed twrp first of all what you have to do is go to wipe section format the data type yes and format the data and also you can do advanced wipe and select all this and wipe it now go to advanced section and go to terminal and you have to write this code so that the code is hh please uh, do this one otherwise you will not be able to flush the rom so 
we have hh report uh, space dash and m so you have to write this terminal and you have to press on ok then the device will reboot back to twrp then you will be able to flush the rom so flushing rom you know as you know how you can do that if you go to the installation section and do that after that everything will work perfectly fine no issue so that's all about android 10 on nexus 5 thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time